Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a quick installation and setup guide for using IP Vanish on your Amazon Fire TV or Amazon Fire TV Stick. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, then don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire TV dashboard. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to search, download and install IP Vanish and also adjust some of the settings on the platform so you can get the best user experience. And this will be extremely beneficial, especially if you're using third party apps on your Amazon Fire TV and also looking to access geo-blocked content. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and download IP Vanish onto the device. And that's very easily done by navigating to the menu and then go over to the left hand side. So once we're here, we can now go ahead and search for any app on the Amazon store. So I'll just go ahead and search for IP Vanish. So I'll just quickly go ahead and type that in. IP Vanish. And as soon as you put in the first couple of letters, you get a recommended app down here. So you can just go ahead and select IP Vanish. So mine is a little bit different to yours most likely as I actually already have IP Vanish uh, downloaded and installed. However, if you don't, there'll just be a little download icon with an arrow. So you just wanna go ahead and tap on that. And that will just take a couple of moments to download and install. And once it does, you can then go ahead and open the app. And if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, I do have a massive discount link down below in the video description. So if you go ahead and click that one, this will open IP Vanish in a new screen. You can go ahead and create an account, choose a plan that kind of fits your needs, and it only takes a couple of minutes. And from there, you'll get your username and also a password. Um, so just keep that in mind as we'll be using this to log into our IP Vanish app on the Amazon Fire TV. So once you've gone ahead and done those things, we can now go ahead and open up IP Vanish. So I'll go ahead and open up the app. Now I've already gone ahead and logged into my account. And if you haven't, you can just go ahead and put in your email address and your password. And once you do that, this is what you'll be greeted with. So this is the main dashboard of IP Vanish. Um, it does seem a little bit complicated when you first open it up. Um, but once you kind of get a handle on how to use it, it's actually very simple. So on the top left hand corner, you have your visible location. And then we also have some other options on the left hand side here. Um, so we've got the country that we would like to connect to, um, the city and also the server as well. So before I go ahead and kind of change any of these, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the actual settings of IP Vanish. Um, so if I go over to the top right hand corner, we have the settings icon. So I'll just go ahead and click on that one. And right here we have various settings that we can go ahead and adjust. So the first thing that we have is start IP Vanish. And then if we go down, we have startup connection action. Um, so this is incredibly important, especially if you're using kind of third party apps for watching free movies on your Amazon Fire TV. Um, so if you go ahead and enable that setting, this means that even if your internet connection drops out or for whatever reason IP Vanish drops out, this will go ahead and sever the connection or automatically reconnect you to the next fastest server. So this means that your personal IP address will never be shared um, kind of with your internet service provider while using the Amazon Fire TV. And then we can also go further down to split tunneling and this just means that some apps will be encrypted while others aren't. And this will just help to improve speeds for certain apps while others can be encrypted. And then we can go further down and adjust some further settings if we need to. Um, but from my own personal experience, I would say the auto connect is maybe the most important, especially if you're going to be using it for third party apps and also accessing geoblocked content as well. So now that we've gone ahead and set up some of the settings on the uh, IP Vanish account, the next thing we can do is go ahead and select a server and a location. So in this instance, I can just go down to the country. I can click on here. And right here, we have a layout of various countries that are enabled using IP Vanish. Um, so just as an example, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Chile. And if we scroll down, the list pretty much um, keeps going on. So in this instance, I want to go ahead and connect to a United States based server. So I'll go ahead, click on the United States. And the next thing I want to do is go to the city. So if you're using IP Vanish for third party apps, then this is also a really awesome feature 
as you can select the closest city to your location. So this means you'll get the fastest speeds you possibly can while using the app. Or alternatively, you can go ahead and check best available and this will connect you to the fastest server in the United States that IPVanish can find. And this is also a great tool, especially if you're outside of the US and you're looking to connect to the American based version of Netflix. Uh, but just say for example, I'm located in Las Vegas. I can just go ahead, click on that location and once I'm down here, I can then go to server and I can go ahead and select from the various servers they have on offer and then you also get the kind of speeds as well for each server. So in this instance, I just want to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and click best available. Now once I'm happy with my settings and my locations, I can then go ahead and click on the connect button. So I'll just go ahead and click on that one. And this will just take a couple of moments to connect as you can see. And once this is highlighted and we start to see this kind of wave of kind of internet activity which is highlighted in green, this just lets us know that we are now fully encrypted, our IP um, address is hidden and we are now connected to an American based server using IP Vanish. So that's pretty much it guys, it's very simple and easy to get started with IP Vanish on your Amazon Fire TV stick. And again, if you are looking to get started with them, don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. So now that we're connected to a server using IP Vanish, we can then go ahead and access kind of third party apps, watch free movies and TV shows, and our IP address will be fully anonymous and fully encrypted as well. And then we can also go ahead and open up various versions of Netflix that you may not be able to access in your certain location. So just to show you guys an example of this, I'm going to go back to the Amazon Fire TV Stick Home. And now once I'm here, I can go ahead and open up Netflix. And I'm actually located outside of the United States, so I'm missing out on thousands of TV shows and movies. However, when I go ahead and connect to a VPN like IP Vanish, this will go ahead and unlock various versions of Netflix, such as the American version. So once I'm here, I now have the ability to go ahead and search for kind of various movies and TV shows. So as an example, I have various titles such as The Office, The Walking Dead, and if I keep scrolling down, I have various um, shows such as uh, Parks and Recreation, Dexter, Breaking Bad, and the list pretty much does go on. So there you have it guys, that's a really quick and simple way on how you can connect to IP Vanish. And if you guys have any questions about connecting to the service, accessing geoblocked content or downloading apps onto Amazon Fire TV, then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you found any value in this, then please smash that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.